Hey everybody, welcome back to the vlog. Hello there, my name is Charlotte. If you guys are new here, um, I am a fourth grade science and social studies teacher in southern central Arizona. <laughs> Um, but today is going to be classroom setup day number two. Sorry, there's a glare on my glasses because I'm standing in front of the window. Is that better? That is better. Um, so I'm starting today's vlog off at home. I have quite a few things that I'm going to be taking into my classroom. Before we get into the video, I just wanted to shout out Zymph Optical. If you guys have been here for a minute, you know that I am a glasses connoisseur and I just love wearing and getting new glasses. And these are one of my new pairs from Zymph. Sorry, I am actually blind, so you're probably seeing a lot of zoomed in right now. But these glasses are so adorable. I actually think they're men's based on the shape and the size. I think these are men's glasses, but I really don't care because I think they're really cute. Um, Zymph is an amazing, amazing online glasses store. So if you guys are interested in buying glasses or you want to save money on buying glasses, not having to buy them at your optometrist's office, Zymph Optical is definitely an option for you. Their quality is amazing. Their styles are so cute. They have so many trendy styles right now and they just keep adding on and adding on so i do have a coupon code for you guys if you're interested in checking out zimp optical it can get you 50 percent off of your frames and 20 percent off of your lenses and they customize everything so depending on your optical needs they can do blue light blocking they can do bifocal they can do all the things that you need so check the description box down below for a discount code it is just tiaras all capitals to get some money off of your glasses if you guys are interested but i'm gonna pack up all the stuff that i'm gonna take to my classroom i'm gonna head to target and home goods and then i'm gonna head into work and so i will catch up with you guys once i get there hello you guys i'm back in the classroom and it looks like they have unstacked all the desks <laughs> not sure why but um, I am here. I just got done running my errands. I went to Target, Home Goods, and Walmart. And so what I've gathered is mostly on this cart. I do have another load, which just has my Cricut and another couple things that didn't fit in the cart. But hot tip for you guys, if you don't have one of these carts, you need to get one and just keep it in your garage or keep it stored in a cabinet because these carts are amazing for bringing things in and out. And I teach on the second story, so bringing things up and down the stairs is just a nightmare. Um, so I have everything here. I'm gonna unload this, go back down, grab my last load. But while I've been gone from my room, I've really been pondering what I'm gonna do about desks or tables. So I just walked into my teammate's room and she has tables right now and it looks extremely crowded. So I think what I'm gonna do today is set up a mock setup, see what it looks like, and if it suits my fancy, I might just keep these desks because aside from like the random couple that are the wrong height, they're all the same level. And what I like about them is I can store things in them. So like when the kids do projects, I can do like first period puts theirs here to dry. I might be able to get like a couple of those um, like things that you would put under the sink to like raise things up. I might be able to get a couple of those and put them in here and then I can have three projects drying at a time. So I kind of want to keep my desks but have them all raised. Does that make sense? So anyway, that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to put together a layout and see how it looks and then go from there. Keep the desks or switch for tables because I don't know. I think I might just Mandy and I just ate lunch and I did a little work so I'm a little sweaty. Um, so my teammate ended up having three extra tables so I went ahead and grabbed one just to kind of see and I ended up seeing her layout once these three were gone and I realized that this will be great because I can do six tables with five at each table. That's 30 kids and that's even if we have 30. So I am going to go ahead and try to find, I have one coming from Mandy, mm -hmm. I just need two more. So let's go get that now. Shall we? 
I had to restack all these though, so I'm like pooped. So we're gonna go get one more table from Mandy's um, and then I am gonna need stools. I have enough for three, but. Yeah, I, I went. You're supposed to wait. I was gonna wait and then I had to go to Walmart to get something else and they were all there, so. Okay, I'm gonna go tonight then. Yeah, just so go without me. Don't do the storage. Go without me. Um, yeah, I ended up just going because I had to go for something else, okay. so. Um, yeah, so let's go get that table. No, I was gonna do the. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Okay. <laughs> hey guys, so, update. I did end up getting another table, so I officially have four tables now. I do need to raise this one up though because it is a little shrimp. Um, but I do officially have four tables at this point. I just need two more. So hopefully, fingers crossed, they will find two more tables for me, two more rectangles, um, hopefully. So uh, what I'm gonna do at this point is kind of try to organize everything that's over here um, because I can't really do much more about the layout until A, the desks are removed, and B, I have the rest of my tables and the rest of my stools. I am gonna need about 15 more stools to have a class set of 30. At this point, I'm planning on doing six tables with five students at each table, and that's if I have 30 students. So hopefully there will be enough space for everybody. And I'm gonna have room for my little like center things too. Um, the only thing I'm gonna be giving up is the extra storage space inside of the desks, but I think it'll be okay as long as I utilize like the counter space in the room a little bit better. Like I think I could try to move some of this stuff somewhere else and utilize this as a drying rack. So I just need to be creative and then I could also just send their projects with them to each class and have, it, have them store it in their homeroom. So I don't know what we're gonna do about that yet, but we will figure it out. Um, Sheila, my new teammate, which you guys will meet on the vlog, I'm sure, um, gave me this really cool inbox. So I'm going to label these block one, block two, block three, hang it somewhere. I'm thinking maybe right here on this wall. Um, and that is going to be my inbox where kids turn things in. So that it's like off the wall, up, up on the wall and not taking up table space. So yeah, I'm just going to putz around and I might make a project table so that if I have any helpers come in, like I think Aiden might come in tomorrow, he can make glue sponges. So I'll put glue sponge stuff over here. I just tried my skylight over in the corner over there where I thought I would put it and it doesn't actually make the stars go as big as if it was on the ground so I'm gonna try to find a lower point in the room maybe by the door so that it can project onto the whole ceiling because it does work on the floor it's just it needs to be lower so I think I might put it over here so I'm gonna try it and see it
Okay, so it's definitely gonna do its best on the ground. So I'm gonna just mess with it. Right now, this is what it's projecting. And if I tilt it a little bit this way, it does project on the whole room. So I just have to get it in the right spot and then we're good to go. Okay, so this is where I've decided to put it for now. My rats will be right here. Um, and I'll show you what it projects. So it essentially gets the majority of the room. Um, I think I might be able to get it further out, but it looks like it's projecting like right in the center of the room. So it's either gonna stay there or I might move it to the other side so that it gets more of the middle of the room. And then I'm, I love it. Like it just adds one more thing to just make the room something else out of this world as Frizzle would say. So I'm loving it and I like how it moves. It's just calming I feel like. So we're gonna stay there for now and I'm gonna just keep okay, trucking along. So I realized I hadn't updated you guys in a while. So I did a few things here and there. So I moved that little black table here and my rats are still gonna go here. So it's gonna be kind of a busy area right there but my rats will fit perfectly here. What I'm thinking I might do is put my two bucket chairs over here, which I moved this square cube thing over here under this board. So I could put one there and one there. So this could kind of be like a cozy spot. Either that or I'm thinking about making this space a group space. So I, what I could do is turn this sideways and then have the table so it could be kind of like a group like a, a project center and so I could actually use the tabletop as like an actual like have a purpose for it and then I could put my bucket chairs up front and then that way like my flexible seating kids are kind of in the front instead of the back and then so this looks really crowded right now but I'm planning on moving things around a little bit I decided to move the supply bins over here because I'm thinking about making this entire area a student station where all of the things that they need are here so my little inboxes are hung up here I would have spare paper lined paper blank paper whatever else paper that they would need and then in these drawers I have like band-aids and stuff that the kids are consistently asking for so this would be like the area where everything would be that they would need. I don't know about leaving this here yet though. I kind of hate it, but I'm not sure yet. We'll see. Um, because this fits perfectly under there. So what I could do is just put band-aids and stuff in a different box and put it on top of the table and then just move this somewhere else and use it. And then I did end up putting these two black tables here under this board um, next to this wall because I figured this could be a small group area, not just for me, but for um, STEM stations, so that could be a station spot, this could be a station spot, up front could be a station spot, the bar could be a station spot, and then over here on the floor could be a station spot. So I have a ton of space for stations, which is exactly what I wanted. So I'm kind of just finagling and trying to figure things out. I did spend a good amount of time over here. Um, I've got Taylor up above the, white, the inbox so I can say, hey kids, put your name on your paper or whatever, and then I have block one, block two, block three, they just put it in there and then it's done. Um, so yeah, I think, I think I like this. I don't know about that though. Um, so yeah, I need to figure out something to do with these because I don't necessarily want to move them out of the library, but I'm not going to have a ton of kids like sitting in the library because I don't have like a reading time. Um, I have reach in the morning, which is like our intervention time it's 40 minutes and I'm pretty sure I'm not pulling groups I'm pretty sure I'm like the enrichment room so I will probably be doing stations at that time which means that kids aren't going to be like sitting and reading for an extended period of time in my classroom other than their warm-up which will be at their table so I think these are flexible seating like kids purchase these with their tickets or their dojo points. So I might just plop one on each side of the room and call that a day rather than having them crowding the backspace. Because what I really want to do is have this space available for like circle time for SEL. And like if I want to do a circle lesson or I want room to put like do musical chairs. And so I really just want to have this back of the room empty, either that or do like a perimeter 
and have the whole middle of the room be empty. I don't know yet for sure. If I do the whole middle of the room, then this really doesn't matter because the tables will be back here anyways, and then the whole middle of the room will be empty. So kind of pondering those ideas. I don't know yet, but I have time. So it is currently 1.25, and I'm gonna be here till four o'clock. So I have plenty of time to figure this out. I really wish these desks would go away, but unfortunately they're just here to stay for a while. So. I think what I might do is move this little white table back here and see how I like it as like a project space and then go from there. problem. I am a very OCD person and I am all about symmetry and if things aren't even or symmetrical it bugs me. So I moved these things right here and although they look okay it's bugging me because it's not symmetrical so I don't really know yet. What I'm thinking I could do is just put the table there Call it a day. Maybe move this to the front next to that cube thing and use it as a counter space. I could still put kids there um, and I could use it for drying. These are the things that go in it, which if you look at what's in here, like this is empty. This is Play-Doh, so realistically that should go in the cabinet over there. This is like water stuff and then like a crap ton of pencil sharpeners. I do have like an abundance of storage bins that are like empty, so I could use that as like a drying space. I don't know yet. Ugh. I wish I had Jennifer here. Jennifer, I need you to come and help me decide what to do. Okay, let's see what happens. Hey you guys, okay, so quick update is 324. Let me show you what I've been doing. Um, okay, so I got this area organized. I took everything off of this cart and organized it. I decided to put my coffee stuff on this cart because I very rarely use this until it's cold out. So I thought I would just get it out of the way. Um, what I like to use this cart for is throughout the year as I start planning and doing all of my professional duties, I start putting things that I grab for a lot in this cart, like my grade book and my standards book and any curriculum and any like documents. I kind of just put them here as like another place and then I can roll it out of the way and put it here. But for right now, since I haven't done any planning yet, I'm gonna just leave it empty and then whatever I feel like I need to have all the time, I will put on this. But for now, this is a great storage space for my coffee stuff. So I did organize all of these bins. I went through and kind of like threw things out that weren't being used. I decided to use this bucket to put curriculum books in because they're not exactly things that I use all the time, but they're definitely not things I want to get rid of. And then I went through all the binders just to make sure that what was in them was actually useful, and if not, I threw them away. And then any empty binders I'm gonna use for students. Um, and then, so yeah, you can see that this kind of got cleaned out. And then I did organize all of my teacher drawers. I'm not gonna like walk you through what's in, a, in the desk. You can obviously see for yourself. Um, yep. And then this side. And then this is like my personals drawer. So like snacks and all the things for me in there. And then I did organize my desk a little bit. Um, it probably won't stay this way, but it is for today. I set up this ring light, which I bought at um, Home Goods. I thought I would use this for filming um, for YouTube and Instagram and stuff like that. And then I just put this mirror here because if I need to like fix my makeup or when I'm filming, I can turn the phone around and I can see what's being filmed. So that's kind of cool. And then my computer 
um, in that stuff. And then what else have I done? Um, I ended up moving this table right here and what I'll probably do is make it just a station table and so depending on how the layout is I can just pull it out and kids can work there. Um, I do have a couple of little random um, flexible seating choices so I might store those under this table but for now I'm just putting all of my project items on there my Cricut my laminator my glue sponge stuff everything that needs to like be like for projects once I start coming in uh, tomorrow and Monday and Tuesday next week I'll start actually like doing projects like putting up bulletin boards and making stuff for the classroom so that's kind of there this guy just travels everywhere I go and I don't really know where he's gonna park I think I might park him over there when school starts so and then I'm taking this stuff home ended up doing the library this way the rats are still gonna go there so just picture them there um, I do need to put these books that are in this bag away but I thought the library looked cute if we do circle time I can just sit in one of these chairs or I can push them back and that works for me and then this is gonna be that student center I was talking about obviously I need to organize it better and like clean it and stuff but um, everything pretty much as is is going to be here I'll probably put like sanitizer and like another thing of tissues and then that is there for now um, I'm starting to put things that are leaving this room over here so these big IKEA frames I bought a couple years ago I don't remember how much they were but I'm gonna ask if any of the teachers at my school want them before I throw them away um, or stick them in my garage this is all garbage this is gonna go down to the workroom and then these need to be returned to the teachers resource area stuff that needs to be kept I don't know what I'm doing with this yet so just ignore that but what I'm gonna do now my last project of the day because I do want to leave at four I'm gonna go ahead and put these books away and I have this pretty book display and what I want to do is kind of pick out my science books and display them so like um, I've pulled a few here like this cracking up book I just found uh, the four spheres of earth the boy who harnessed the wind energy island I've had this book forever it's cartooning for teachers it's like how to draw cartoons I have never used this but I want to I think it'd be so fun uh, my science source book so I'm gonna go through these and pull out anything that's related to science and that way I can display them here and then all my other picture books and read alouds I can just plop down there and I might even have room to move some curriculum books over here and just get them out of the way. So that's what I'm going to do next. So my camera died while I was putting books away, but this is what it turned out looking like. So I did manage to put all of my picture books and read alouds in two of the compartments. I found a space for two storage bins and got them off of this, which is great because it will allow for more projects to go on it. And then all of my like science related books are now up here. Oh, I feel so accomplished. Um, I did pull out a couple of like first day of school books because, um, and like Danny and Darla, just because I think those would be great for like the first week of school to possibly pull out and use. Um, so yeah, so that is done. So I know I can put like a plant here, maybe a plant there, or I can just leave it blank. Like I don't need to put stuff on every surface, you know what I mean? Tomorrow though, I need to tackle this cart. This is like what I teach from. So like this cart and this desk are where I teach from. So those two things need to be organized before next week. So maybe that will be a project for tomorrow. So yeah, that is the status of the room. I'm feeling really good. 
I do have tomorrow, Monday and Tuesday next week, and then our official day back next week is Wednesday. So if I can get the classroom completely done by Tuesday next week, I will be ready to plan, start printing. I might even be able to be done with this room and start printing out stuff probably Monday because if they bring me my tables like they're supposed to, um, my custodian said that he would do his best to try tomorrow or at least Monday. He would take the desks out, bring the two other tables, and he also said that there are no more stools left in the entire school, which I don't know if I believe because I had all stools at the beginning of the year. I traded them with Maria and then she brought them back and somehow I only have 14 stools. So I think somewhere somebody took my stools and I don't know where they are. So I might be sending out an email just, hey, if you guys have any extra stools laying around, I'm trying to get up to 15. Please let me know if you can spare a few because I feel like in a science classroom, stools are just better. But if I can't find them, then he will um, replace the stools with chairs, which is not a huge deal. But I just feel like in a science classroom, stools are more ideal. Um, but it is what it is. You know, if we have chairs, then at least we have a place to hang our backpacks. So I'm trying to think positively. Anyways, that is it for today, you guys. I am exhausted. It's almost 4 o'clock. I need to go home and eat. I've hardly eaten all day. I need to drink some water and we'll come back tomorrow and get some more stuff done. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you are not following me already. I do post things there randomly. Why is this crooked? This thing's crooked and I don't know why, but it will drive me nuts. Anyway, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at apples and tiaras. Um, all my socials will be on the end screen. So if you want to follow me, you can. And I will see you guys in the next video.